Terrorists from the Tigray and the Oromo region have been reported to be occupying parts of North Shawa Zone, which is in Ethiopia's Amhara region. Some of the towns, including Shawa Robet, Mahameda, and Molale, residents have been looted and homes have been burnt to the ground. Amhara mothers have been forced to flee with their children and find refuge in cities like Debra Brahan, which is currently hosting thousands of internally displaced people. These innocent lives were pushed out of their ancestral land and escaped many horrors such as sexual violence, famine and ethnic cleansing. I came from Mesa. This is the second time I've been internally displaced with my four children. We went from Mesa to Kambolcha, then here in Debra Brahan. On one side, the Oromos attacked us, then the Tigrayans forced us to leave. On the way out, we saw many dead bodies of our loved ones. A really sad situation. Now the real question is, does the government know we exist? Do they see this? How are we going to end up? We don't know who's alive or dead. We need a solution. At least if they can open up a road so we can see our family, do what we can to inform all the TV stations and media outlets about our reality. This isn't time to just talk. I just miss my relatives. Mothers and fathers have been left on the streets. I'm sure that they're dead. In the forest, Nick and Masse, Oromo terrorists were shooting at children. We came from North Wallo Zone, a place called Mursa. We tried to get to Addis Ababa, but we couldn't. The only ones allowed into Addis Ababa are the ones from other ethnicities. If you're from North Wallo, it's not possible to enter Addis. If your ID says you're from North Wallo, it's impossible.